What's up, YouTubers? I'm back. She never mentions the word addiction. Da -da -da -da. In certain company. Da -da -da -da. Hey, she tell you she's an orphan. Mm -hmm. After you meet her family. Why is that song on my brain? Because there was about two, three huge black crows just over my head about five minutes ago. I was trying to shoot the video. You got this guy cutting the lawn, these guys squawking. They were kind of creeping me out a little bit. So maybe they'll come back, all right? Says she talks to angels. You guys remember that tune? What a great song. Why are we here today? I'll tell you why we're here today. I figure after all this talk about K-Bar, you know, the past couple of weeks, I figure why not talk about another awesome knife company called SOG, S-O-G, Studies and Observation Group, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, ha, ha. Founded in 1986. Check it out. Years and years ago, I went ahead and I bought my first SOG knife. And it's a shame I haven't really used it the last couple of years, but here he is. I got me the SOG. Oh, it's got its lock on. What are you doing, dude? Bing! Safety lock. It always seems to go on by itself. You know I'm not a fan of serrations, right? But you know, I learned that over the years. This knife though has saved me in more times than I can tell you, honest to God. Aussie 8 steel, you got that nice jipping on the spine. I love the texture on this grip. Yeah, I threw that little thing on there. You even have the, uh, the box cutter, strap cutter right there, which I've used numerous, numerous times at work. Don't feel like getting into that. Uh -uh. No. Anyway, this is model number TF1-CP. Tom Francis 1-CP. All right? This was my first taste of SOG, and it did not disappoint. All right? Is it still sharp after all these years? Well, let's give it a whirl. Let's see. So hard to test it with that, that serration right there. But, uh, yeah, I could possibly use a touch-up. But, um, it will get the job done. Take my word for what it's worth. I like that so much. I go, ooh, look at that shiny sog. By the way, it's about, you know, 40, 50 bucks. So is this one. Both made in Taiwan. I like that one so much, I went with the, uh, the SOG Trident Elite. This one has the Tanto style. Again, Aussie 8 steel. You got the nice jimping right there on the spine. Got a, like a rubber molded grip. All the safety features. You got your box and strap cutter. I've had these guys for years and I put them through the ringer, all right? This was my first uh, Tanto style blade. And, uh, oh wait, what did this one have? There was a, another reason why I bought this. Oh, because of this little glass breaker on the edge here. And I do believe I did use it, all right? Not on like a, like a real emergency situation. I just wanted to try it, see if it did work. And yes, it did. So um, anyway, this is model number TF103, Tom Francis 103. The first one was TF1CP. Okay, both of these are, let me see if I'm reading this correct here. Pardon me. All right. Da, da, da. 
Da, da, da. Both 56, 58 on the Rockwell. Eight and a half inch overall. Both have a three and three quarter inch blade. And you got your safety locks and mechanisms and all that good stuff. This one's got the black, you know, teeny that it's uh, some kind of a titanium nitride. Something like that. See, I always thought that this guy was made in the USA. I'm hearing different now, though. I'm hearing... I don't see anything about Taiwan on here. But, uh... Hey, I thought it was USA. Now I'm here in Taiwan. If somebody uh, wants to correct me, please feel free. Okay. This guy, pretty sure it's Taiwan. All right? So this is the Trident, and this is the Trident Elite. Hey. Both awesome. Had for years. Then I watched the movie Lone Survivor. Check out Mr. Mark Wahlberg and his portrayal as Marcus Luttrell. You see that Sog Seal Pop Elite? Well, that's what gave me the idea to, you know, basically mount it to my shoulder strap. We went over that the other day when I was doing my K-Bar video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. There it is. Let's talk about this here knife. I always like the texture of this, all right? It's got such an awesome grip. It's got that black teeny coating. Let me tell you something. You could always tell a SOG knife by that, the way they, you know, do their swedges and their spine. You know, there should be just, you know, you got your folders, you got your, your buoys, and you got your SOGs. They should be in their own category. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Navy SEALs can't be wrong. The rock stars of the military. So, anyway, I've had this for years. And uh, let's check out the sharpness on this bad boy. Using traditional paper. All right. See, it again, you got to put up with that serration right there. So, it's kind of hard to do. You know, you just want to get a little bit, eh, eh. Anyway, it's the only thing I don't like about it is the serrations. But it came highly recommended, and um, I went ahead. It's been used a few times. I try to take care of it, but uh, full tank. Is it full tank? Uh, somebody out there knows for sure. Let me know, for sure. I think it's more of like a, a rat tail, maybe a, a little more towards the full tang, but um, hey, I'm thinking rat tail. Ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna leave him out here, okay? Now, can I get a SOG without the serrations? Oh, can I get a SOG without the serrations? The answer is the SOG 2.0 Bowie knife. One of my favorite, favorite knives in my collection. One of the most beautiful, in my opinion. With those stacked leather washers right there. Ah, oh, this thing is gorgeous, ladies and gentlemen. You know, I can still smell the leather on this sheath, and I've had it for years. I do try to keep this you know, nice, got a nice thick spine right there. Again, okay, it's made in Taiwan, Aussie steel with that, that teeny coating on it. And uh, it's a crowd pleaser, like butter. The knife is just kind of falling itself, doing the, doing the work. Come on, let's do this. There we go. 
Is that beautiful or what? There we go. Yes, it's a showpiece. I'm a collector, but um, I would definitely use this in a survival situation if I needed to. I don't really need to because of all the others, but yes, you can. Which leads me to the final blade. Guys, ready? Get this stick out of here. By the way, I apologize. Let's do this real quick. 50 bucks, 50 bucks, maybe 80 to 110. And this model number is the Seal Pop Elite is E37TN, Thomas Nancy. All right, Taiwan. This beauty is model number S1T as in Tom, dash L as in Larry. 11 inch overall, all CH steel, this could run you 150 bucks and up. Let's see here. Leather sheath still smells great. Uh, let's see. We talked about that. We talked about the washers. 57 to 58 on the Rockwell. 6.4 inch blade. 11 inch overall. What did it say here? Faithful, flawless tribute to Vietnam era Bowie. Full tang knife. They say full tang knife. Feels full tang. But again, I'm not 100%. Okay? But I do like it. I like it a lot. Leads me to this one. The SOG Pillar. P-I-L-L-A-R. Model number UF1001-BX. That's UF as in Frank. 1001-BX made of CPM S35VN steel. I have a, a, a couple knives made of that steel. One is a buck. And I get angry at that buck because it's too small. I wish it was more. And here's the answer to that. All right. First of all, you got this Kydex sheath with that tech lock on the back. I just put it there for now, you know, to carry it like that. But you can, you know, mount it the way you feel like it. You know, put it on your backpack. I think you could carry it horizontally. Um, but check it out. This is uh, that canvas my car to handle, all right? Full tang, obviously. I have a, another knife with that similar handle right there. And believe it or not, it's by MTech. And that thing is a beast. Oh, did I say that, mention that this is made in the USA? Made in the USA. This thing is a little workhorse. How do I know? I was out here earlier messing around with it. And also read a ton of reviews. This thing is pretty badass, all right? And I'm so glad it's in my possession. I think this was um, the first sock knife I had purchased in years, in years. And uh, it was great to see that box arrive, you know? I'm a, I'm a proud supporter of SOG. Now, yeah, even though this was my last knife that I had purchased, I purchased something else not that long ago as part of my, my I call this my SOG <laughs> backpack, all right? I had this on the other day, if you noticed, on 
when I was doing the K-Bar review. Anybody know what that is? This is the SOG shovel, which I haven't used yet. And it feels quite nice right there. It doesn't bother me. It's not, you know, overly heavy or anything like that. I wouldn't wear it on my, it's got a belt loop on this, you know, pouch that was provided. You know, it just kind of like, you know, dangles there. And uh, I've tried it out. Doesn't seem to, uh, you know, be a problem. Check out this little thing. All right. Even has uh, serrations, which I love. I guess that's for just going through like roots if you need it. This is a survival sho uh, shovel. Just kind of pops up like that. Tighten it down. Actually, we're going to go like this. So I'm going to try something. We're going to tighten it so I could use this pick. So, um, let's take a walk, everybody. All right. Get through this real quick. Then I'm going to come back with some shout outs. Shout outs. All right. Let's get me in here nice. Ditch those glasses. Let's see how this thing works. All right. Okay. Let's see how good this thing. Let's use the uh, the pick action first. Oh, look at that! It's like nothing. I'm gonna build a quick fire pit. Look at this. That goes down nice. This is the first time I'm using it, guys. Check that out. Nice little collapsible shovel here. Let's unloosen it here. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Tighten it back up again. Now for just some, um, you know, shovel action. Yes, I'm filling back up the hole. Want me to go in a harder area? Is that what you want? All right. Let's do it. Guys, this is a great survival tool right here. 30 bucks. Amazon. Oh, look at that. We got a root. Shall we? Let's get dirty. Oh God, am I getting in there? <laughs> Guys, that's going right through. I don't want to go any further. I want you guys to get a close up on this. Come here. Come on. Aye, aye, aye. Check it out. You see that, right? See, now I'm only using one hand. <laughs> Little determination. I'll go right through that, no problem. All right. We don't need to do that. Wow. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> So there is my SOG collection. Trying to get through it real quick. Now, shout out. 
I wanted to get this in. Fellow YouTuber, I'll leave the link. This guy is awesome. The African Lion. I'll leave you the link. He did a shout out for me. <laughs> Check that out. Cowboy Seabop. So one good shout out deserves another. The African Lion, ladies and gentlemen. Go check out his videos. He's got some great property he just uh, invested in. Whew! It's beautiful. And uh, I'll take you on a quick tour of it. Um, tell him Cowboy Seabop sent you. Listen, I only got a couple more videos left of me. Come November, that's the end of season two. I'll start up season three either at Christmas or shortly thereafter. So, you guys want a shout out, let me know. Let's get them in. Let's get them in now. As I said, I got one or two videos left in me for season two. And then, uh, Merry Christmas. Bring on 2021. Season three begins. All right? So, um, hey. Phew. It was a good workout. All right? Yeah, I'm a little out of shape. Um, hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, toughing it out. All right? Hope you guys like the, uh, the SOG video. My favorite is still my 2.0. Has to be. Love it. Uh, and this one, look at that. Do you like that sheath, everybody? This one is sure to see a lot more use. All right? So... Take care, everybody. Stay safe. I'll see you soon.